once upon a time in Sawa, Ginnah, Michigan, lived a girl whose parents were both tennis coaches. So you could imagine that she got trained in tennis from an early age, but nobody ever thought that one day she would get so good and become an all-time great women's tennis player we all know today known as Serena Williams but how did Serena Williams become such a fantastic tennis player and why did she get into tennis aside from her parents is Selena a big animal lover and is she a fan of Mariah Carey and Brandy did she win the Australia Open while wow, even pregnant? Is she one of the most highest paid athletes in the world? Most importantly of all, what was her life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is a S. M. R. Aaron. Back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this video gets you through your day or even better. I hope this read helps you gently fall asleep. Can't wait to get started. This is the tale of Serena Williams. Serena Jamaica Williams was born on September 26, 1981, in Saginaw, Michigan the youngest of Richard and Orisine Williams' five daughters, Serena and her sister Venus, would grow up to become great tennis champions. Serena's father, a former sharecropper from Louisiana, determined to see his two youngest girls succeed, use what he gleaned from tennis books and videos to instruct Serena and Venus on how to play the game. At the age of three, practicing on a court not far from the family's new Compton, California home, Serena withstood a rigors of daily two-hour practices from her father. The fact that the family had relocated to Compton was no accident. With its high rate of gang activity, Richard wanted to expose his daughters to the ugly possibilities of life. If they did not work hard and get an education in this setting on courts that were riddled with potholes and sometimes missing nuts, Serena and Vin Venus cut their teeth on the game of tennis and the requirements for preserving in a tough climate. By 1991, Serena was 46 to 3 on the Junior United States Tennis Association Tour and ranked first in the 10 and under division. Sensing his girls needed better instruction to become successful professionals, he moved his family again, but this time to Florida. There, Richard let go of some of his coaching responsibilities, but not the management of Serena and Venus's career. Where of his daughter is burning out too quickly, he scaled back their junior tournament schedule. Serena and her older sister Venus were groomed for a tennis career from the age of three years old by their father. With their signature style and play, Venus and Serena changed the look of the sport. Their sheer power and athletic ability overwhelmed opponents, and their sense of style and presence made them stand out celebrities on the court. The close knit sisters lived together for more than a dozen years in a gated Palm Beach Gardens enclave in Florida. But they went their separate ways after Serena bought a mansion in nearby Jupiter in December 2013. In 1999, Serena beat out her sister Venus in the race to the family's first Grand Slam win when she captured the U.S. Open title. 
It set the stage for a run of the highest powered high profile victories of both Williams sisters. In 2008, Serena and Venus teamed up to capture second women's doubles Olympic gold medal at the Beijing Games. The next year, Serena and Venus purchased shares of the Miami Dolphins to become the first African American women to own part of an NFL team. At the 2012 Summer Olympics, Serena claimed her fourth overall Olympic gold medal by teaming with her sister Venus to defeat Czech Republic stars Andrea Flavakova and Lucy Radeka in women's doubles, seeking to add her hard work collection. In the summer of 2015, Williams had to overcome big sister Venus to advance past the fourth round at Wimbledon. A few days later, she defeated Karin Muguruza in the final to claim her second career, Serena Slam, and became the oldest Grand Slam singles champion in the open era. At the 2015 U.S. Open, Williams again squared off with Venus in a tough quarterfinal matchup. This time, putting away in the deciding third set, the outcome left her two wins shy of the calendar year Grand Slam, a feat accomplished by just three women in the sports history. But it was not to be. In a shocking upset. Unseated Roberta Vinci ranks number 43 in the world. Dash Williams quest by pulling out a two to six, six to four, six to four win in the semifinals. Just hours after her singles win at Wimbledon in 2016, Serena and Venus won the doubles champion their sixth Wimbledon win together. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio, Williams sisters experienced a shocking upset when they were bounced out of their first round of women's doubles at the Rio Olympics by Czech duo Lucy Safarova and Barbora Strikova. The Williams sisters had originally been seeded as number one, had an Olympic record of 15 to zero, and had won gold three times previously. Williams scored. A historic victory at the 2016 Australian Open, winning her 23rd Grand Slam title after defeating her sister Venus 6-4, 6-4. With her 24th, 23rd win, she surpassed Steph Graf's total and captured the number, the world number one ranking. Reflecting on her victory, Williams credited her sister as an inspiration. I would really like to take this moment to congratulate Venus. She's an amazing person. She said, "There is no way I would be at 23 without her. There is no way I would be at one without her. She is my inspiration. She is the only reason I am standing here today, and the only reason that the Williams sisters exist." In 1995, Serena turned pro. Two years later, she was already number 99 in the world rankings, up from number 304 just 12 months before. A year later, she graduated high school and almost immediately inked a $12 million shoe deal with Puma. In 20, in 2002, Serena won the French Open, the, the U.S. Open, and Wimbledon, defeating Sister Venus in the finals of each tournament. She captured her first Australian Open in 2003. The win also fulfilled her desire to hold all four major titles simultaneously to compromise what she dubbed the Serena Slam. In August 2003, Serena underwent knee surgery, and in September, her half sister Yetunde Price was murdered in Los Angeles, California. Three years later, Serena seemed burned out. Plagued by injuries and just a general lack of motivation to stay fit or compete at the same level she once had, Serena saw her tennis ranking slump to 139. Serena credited her faith as a Jehovah's Witness, as well as life-changing journey she made to West Africa for renewing her pride and competitive fire. In 2008, she won the U.S. Open. 
By 2009, Williams reclaimed her place atop the world's rankings, winning both of the 2009 Australia Open singles for the fourth time and Wimbledon 2009 singles for the third time. She also won the doubles matches at both the Australian Open and the World Cup team that year. Williams made headlines in September 2009 when she blasted a Lions woman for a footfall called near the end of a semi-final loss to eventual champion Kim Klitschers at the US Open. The profoundly last laced outburst included finger pointing and according to the Lions woman, an alleged threat from Serena against her life. Williams downplayed what happened, refusing the allegation that she threatened the woman, but the incident did not give over well with the tennis being public, nor the U.S. Tennis Association, which fined her $10,000 on the spot. Two months later, she was placed on a two-year probation and ordered to pay another $82,500 to the Grand Slam Committee for the episode, the largest punishment ever levied against a tennis player. By early 2010, Serena was back on track, winning the Australian Open singles and double matches as well as her fourth Wimbledon singles championship. In 2011, Serena suffered a series of health scares after doctors found a blood clot in one of her lungs, which kept her away from tennis for several months. Following several procedures, including one to remove a hematoma, speculation rose as to whether Williams would retire from the sport. Serena's health improved by September 2011, however, and she looked like her old dominant self at the U.S. Open before falling to Samantha Stosser in the finals. Williams stumbled badly at the 2012 French Open, enduring a first-round loss from the first time at a major tournament. But she was back in top from in London in July 2012, defeating 23-year-old Agnieszka Radwanska in an emotional resets to claim her fifth Wimbledon singles title and first major championship in two years. At the 2012 Summer Olympics game, Serena beat Maria Sharapova to take her first gold medal in women's singles. Serena continued her winning streak to her next Grand Slam event. In September 2012, she beat out rival Victoria Azarenka to take the singles title at the U.S. Open. According to USA Today, Williams wasn't sure that she'd emerge victorious. I honestly can't believe I won. I was really preparing my runner-up speech because I thought, man, she's playing so great. By this time, Serena had captured 15 Grand Slam single titles and 13 Grand Slam double titles. I would like to leave a mark, Serena once said, about her standing in the tennis world. I think obviously I will, due to the fact that I'm doing something different in tennis, but I don't think I could ever reach something like a Martina Navarilova. I don't think I'd ever play that long, but who knows? I think I'll leave a mark regardless. In June 2013, Serena took her second French Open title, as well as her 16th Grand Slam singles title, in a 6-4, 6-4 victory over defending champion Sharapova. I'm still a little upset about that loss that last year, Serena said in an interview with ESPN following the match. But it's all about, for me, how you recover. I think I've always said a championship isn't about how much they win, but it's about how they recover from their downs, whether it's an injury or whether it's a loss. Nearly one month later, Serena competed at Wimbledon, where she suffered a shocking loss, 6-2, 1-6, 6-4, to in the fourth round of Germany's Sabine Lisicki the number 23rd seed. Her career best 34 match winning streak over Serena told Sports Illustrated, I don't think it's a huge shock. Lisicki is a great player. Her ranking has no effect on what she should be. She should be ranked higher. She just has a super, super game to play well on grass. At the 2013 US Open, Serena made a strong showing. 
She knocked out her youngest rival, Sloan Stefan, in the fourth round before spending on setting that to clinch the U.S. Open title. It was the second year in a row that the pair had faced off in the finals. Serena clinched her third straight and sixth overall U.S. Open singles title in 2014 by defeating her good friend Coraline Wozniacki. Her winning always carried into new year as Beth Sharapova to claim the 2015 Australian Open Championship. At the third time, at the French Open in June, Serena managed to overcome illness to win the tournament for the third time and claim her 20th Grand Slam singles title, good for third place all time. When I was a little girl in California, my father and mother wanted me to play tennis, she told the crowd in French after a victory. And now I'm here with 20, 20 Grand Slam titles. And so ends the tale of Serena Williams, one of the greatest players in tennis history, who lived happily ever after entertaining tennis fans all over the world.